The state-of-the-art Kiza Emergency Power Plant was completed in the summer of 2014 in Estonia, and it is designed to start the national grid in 10 minutes from a full blackout, operate without on-site personnel, and withstand tough environmental conditions. Meeting these challenges required solutions that are totally unlike anything that has been done before. As the only transmission system operator in Estonia, Ellering is the backbone of the country's electricity system. The transmission system operator has to maintain a constant, real-time balance between supply and demand, but it has no control over power consumption. The worst-case scenario is a blackout. To be able to cope with the balancing and emergency power requirements, Ellering launched the Kiza project. After thoroughly studying all the options, it decided on an engine-based solution from Vatsila, which uses independent generator sets. This offers redundancy, low capital costs and low operating costs. When we talk of Ellering or the Skisa ERPP project, the project and the challenges, they go hand in hand. This was full of challenges. I would say both technical challenges and commercial challenges. Everything what has been delivered in this project, it's a new, it's new. It's been designed for the first time, I would say. We could not pick up anything standard from the shelves. The Kiza project presented major challenges. The plant has no on-site operators, but it can be operated remotely from a computer screen in Tallinn, 25 kilometers away. Vartsila was responsible for the entire Engineering Procurement Construction EPC project and sought a partner to design and deliver the complex electrical system. So I think uh, one of the key issues is, is the dialogue here. Uh, you cannot rely only on emails and papers uh, like we start to be used to. You need to have the dialogue, you need to, to, to do the face-to-face. -face. So I think that's one of the key issues in a, in a good cooperation between uh, companies. Innovative solutions were needed to implement the large number of features specified for the generators, control systems, substation and the specialized supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA system, which supervises the whole process. The result is nothing less than a complete, fully optimized power plant electrical system. We have a long history with ABB and uh, very good solutions have been uh, developed together. You know, the technical capabilities from both the parties have been put together and, uh, you know, we have good synergies which have been developed. An increasing number of power plants will need to be built as global demand for energy is rising and older, uneconomical plants are being closed down. Both new and existing units will have to meet more stringent emission restrictions and strict grid code requirements. Vartila's Smart Power Generation Package is a professional solution that meets operators' needs for balancing, reserve power and backup or emergency power, as in the Kiza plant. Its fast grid synchronization capabilities offer full emergency support to take up the dropped load, a feature that is very much in demand. So, being really, really fast in synchronizing to the grid in less than 30 seconds, being able to take load in less than five minutes, even two minutes to full load, 100 megawatt, 200 megawatt in just the time that you brew your coffee, is something that the market is really needing for the future. Grid compliance matters have been one of the key issues facing utilities and transmission system operators in the past four or five years. This not only affects new power plants or renewables introduced to the grid, but existing traditional power plants also have to comply. At the Kiza plant, Estonia's tough fault ride-through requirement meant that the generator design had to be specially optimised. I would say ABB benefit is that uh, we are very competent in calculating, simulating this kind of grid code requirements, what it means in the product. We have a modular platform. We can easily implement these needed changes. Another important aspect of projects like this is the process of testing and validating the complete system. This is both expensive and time-consuming. Grid code compliance can be simulated using validated and accurate modeling 
and this can mean big savings for all the stakeholders involved. And I think the testing and validation part is uh, one of the most exciting and interesting because of course you can spend a tremendous amount of hours and money by testing and validating. However, today modeling and simulation is one of the key items where you can save money. You have a good track record with uh, ABB supplied equipment all over the world. Uh, and, and we are continuously developing items together with ABB and, and uh, they are a, a recognized brand, recognized partner from a global scale. So uh, a lot of good opportunities also for uh, keeping the marriage uh, for, the, for the future to come.